Good evening, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. And very recently, I was on the phone to my buddy Lee Anderson from Anderson's in Guildford, which is a wonderful store you should visit if you're ever in the area. Uh, and I was saying, you know what? I think sometimes we should stop demonstrating products. For sure. And just either play a little bit or maybe teach a bit of blues. Because we get so many people saying, uh, Lee, could you teach us a blues lick? Or Rob, could you teach us a blues lick? And I thought, you know what? In and out, mega quick video. If you've got five minutes of your life to spare, get half a coffee, because you've only got time for half of one. Lee will teach you a blues lick, I'll teach you a blues lick, and then you can go off and practice them. Well, here's mine then. Shall I go first? Go for it, bro. So I'm gonna play effectively in the key of A. So actually what I might want Rob to do, sort of little, it's just drone a little bit. Can you give me that corner? A minor 11. I can, sir. So if we can just have a little bit of a drone underneath what I'm going to play. And the first, and, and I'm going to show you two basic licks. One which is just a, a nice lick to play over the A. And then the other one is a little lick to play as we change to the D in a sort of a 12 bar kind of blues progression. So if you could start yep. doing that. So, so my first lick involves playing, it's really just a, I think it's just a two string. We're on the G and the B string. So we're going fifth fret on the uh, G string with your first finger, going to seventh fret with your third finger. Fifth fret on the uh, B string. And here's the tricky bit. You've got to jump with your first finger back to the fifth fret on the G string so that you get... It's three strings, I lied. We're going down to the seventh fret on the, on the D string, so... And... I like to play little kind of micro bends in there. So I'm going. And then if you can go to the D. Stay on the D. And that's the, back, that's the change back to the A then, isn't it? Yeah. So, cool. So effectively, we're going to go on, on the A, we're going to go. to the D. Change back to the A. They're my licks. I could play that with a little higher gain if I wanted to. Oh, that wasn't completely clean. Uh, let's play it with sort of medium gain, maybe even a bit of delay. So if you stay on the A for a second, Rob, then just... That's my lick. Nice. And that's it. And if you can practice those little micro bends, I just think you get, you know, if I don't micro bend, I get. It's like the vibrato and the micro bends are what makes this. It gives it that more of a vocal. That's what I really love about your playing is that you're always considering little tiny nuances that although on the face of it would seem simple, make a huge musical difference to the licks that you play. I think it's a, it's a forced thing from accepting that I don't put the practice in to be able to have the kind of the speed uh, and also the theoretical <coughs> understanding maybe of the fretboard to, to do more intricate playing. So I'm always conscious of the fact that I'm thinking, a good example would be a vocalist like Beyonce doing vocal act acrobatics is not my thing, whereas a vocalist like Aretha Franklin yeah. is totally my thing. Right. Because uh, it's just, it's, it's the tone of the voice rather than the dexterity of the voice, if sure. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So let me see. Let me see your lick. All right, well, I've got a lick that's a bit of a chameleon, so you can use it to, to either go over the one, I'm playing an E this time, mm -hmm. or, or you can use it to change to the five if I do a little inflection. So again, I'll start with a little. Oh, do you want me to just do a? Oh, you can play, play an E chord. Just a regular. Kind of tempo 
is this thing? It doesn't matter, you just drone it, it's fine. <laughs> That's like my it. lick, so Throw I'm... Throw it down? I, well... <laughs> so I'm starting on the 8th fret with a little tiny... What I call a blues curl. Yeah. Bringing my 3rd finger over to the ninth, And then pulling off to my 1st finger. And then up this scale, my 3rd finger again. And I'm sliding it all the way down. So I'm going, sorry, to there, and then I'm doing a series of dyad slides. So I'm sliding up and then catching that first finger at the top. And if you let it ring out, you get this really nice purr if you're using a bit of game, which I'll do, I'll do in a second. So, so far. And then back the way I came. Interval's nice, the, the one it ends on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, well, that's the interval that we're going to change. Ooh. If we wanted to go from a one... So, for example, if we're going from... Um, that kind of thing. And then we're going to the, the five... Uh, sorry, we, we're going... So this is the end of the blues change. Oh, so like turn yeah. So if you wanted to do that... You could change it to be an ender on a fiver. Mm -hmm. So you get... If it's on the one, mm -hmm. or... Should we put that in context? For yeah, so if you go from... And if you do the same thing, but this time when I get close to it, you're going to go to that five. I mean... So what you get is... Yeah. You get this. And it kind of completes the chord that we're going to the mixed Lydian chord, yeah. the fifth chord. So, um, and it works nice. So what I'll do now is I'll add game and I'll use elements of that lick in isolation and then show the change to it. So if you keep playing the 12 bar... So it's just that little tiny that allows it, yeah, that allows it back into the into the five. Yeah. That's go. all it was, ladies and gentlemen. That was it. Probably the shortest video Rob and I have shot in about nine years. Sometimes I think it's good to be <laughs> short and sweet. Less is more, <laughs> as they say. Yes. Uh, anyway, I've been the captain. I've been Chappers. See you next time. See you later. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.